So the tips and advice I'm going to offer on this video are and should be applicable to any type of role that you're doing or trying for your canoe. It doesn't matter whether it's got a low brace roll, recovery with a sweep, or if it's a flipper stroke, or if you're going on the offside, all of these should apply or help you apply something to improve or be able to start rolling on your canoe. <laughs> So I just want to talk a little bit about some of the markers I use for my body rotating. Um, I think of it in two parts. So the first being the hips. So rotating from the hips. Here I'm gonna look at rolling the left side and I'm trying to push my right hip forward so it's in line almost as close to the center of the boat as I can do. So that's the first bit of the rotation. The second is then thinking about rotating from the shoulders. So if my hips rotate at 45 degrees roughly to where my knees are pointing, I then can rotate the top half of my body with thinking about my shoulders and pushing that right shoulder in this situation all the way around 90 degrees so that the right shoulder is in line with the center of the boat. This means that it puts a lot less strain on my back and on my shoulder. So the shoulder is attached to the arm holding onto the shaft of the paddle. If I don't get that amount of rotation, I feel like there's a lot of pressure on that shoulder and on my back as well. One of the main advantages of getting more rotation outside of obviously looking after the body and preventing injury is that I can actually get on top of the blade and with the bottom hand that's attached to the T-grip, once I do come around, if I'm, particularly if I'm trying to do a flipper roll, um, I can really reach down with the T-grip and allow the blade to get to the surface of the water. The other advantage that I want to look at is actually being on top of the blade which is going to help with the setup getting on that initial edge before I use the blade to roll. This is uh, a part of the roll that I think a lot of people either miss out or aren't conscious of that uh, is really important uh, towards achieving a successful roll. So generally no matter what type of roll I'm doing, whether it's on the offside, on the onside, or just a low brace recovery, or even if you're doing back deck rolls, at some point I'm going to want to get the boat not upside down. So you'll notice before I roll, the boat is up slightly on its side, so you can actually see the airbags um, before I do any sort of roll initiation. So what I've got here is a float strapped onto the paddle um, and that means when I go over on the setup I can get used to feeling the boat out of the water um, and then I can look at sort of the next phase which is unwinding and, and that flick and push of the outside knee and drawing up with the inside knee. <laughs> So 
for this next stage, uh, we're going to work on the motion, which allows you to bring the boat underneath your body. Um, and that's something you need to think about when you're, when you're trying to achieve the, this bit of the roll, is you're actually trying to bring the boat underneath your body. Whereas a lot of people I see doing this are trying to just solely use the blade to push themselves on top of the boat. This is where the core strength is going to come in really useful uh, and obviously having that set up where you're on top of the blade and you're going to feel like you're doing a bit of an abdominal crunch sort of trying to pull the boat underneath you and I guess the feelings or the markers that you'll have inside the boat are the outside knee pushing down and the inside knee drawing up towards your body yeah, and as this sort of happens and you start to see the boat rocking like in this bit of the video here you at this point are going to move into that final stage of the roll which is where we're actually going to really actually use the blade <laughs> So the final stage of the roll we're going to look at is the blade and the head position um, and this could vary depending on the type of roll that you're going to do. Uh, in these videos there's sort of two options we're looking at is one a sort of more flipper type stroke and the other one is more of a low brace recovery with a sort of sweeping motion here you can see. Uh, both work well, it depends which one's easiest for you. Um, but the idea is that we're just going to create a little bit of surface tension once we've got this motion going uh, inside the boat and this motion here is going to have the head coming round and across the bow of the boat and on and over across even to help finish off the roll um, so even putting the head beyond the central keel line and across the other side of the boat can just help finish off that last bit of the roll just to really get it up and once you've picked it up um, and once you've got your first few rolls in it's just a case of keep practicing um, and it'll get cleaner and everything will join together more smoothly uh, from here on. idea of this video is not to give you direct instructions how to roll but more if you are working on a roll or you need some ideas of how to get started um, there's some suggestions uh, troubleshooting um, and some exercises in here that hopefully get you started or help you finish a roll that you're working on um, obviously if you need any further help or you've got some ideas that come up from watching this video feel free to send a message or get in touch uh, on the website or by email uh, or on Facebook or Instagram but uh, otherwise thanks for watching